In today's tutorial, I'm going to be installing Make, GCC, and G++ on Windows. So, first things first, let's open up a browser and search for Scoop Windows. And go to the scoop.sh website right here. Now, we're going to open up a PowerShell. So, go down to the terminal, open up PowerShell. And then, you're going to type in these two commands that you see right here. So we're going to do set execution policy, run that. And then this is the command that's actually going to get and install the, the uh, scoop. So we're going to run this. And for me, I already have scoop installed. However, for you guys, um, it should go ahead and install scoop. Once that's done, I want you to close your terminal. And if you have another terminal open, then just close that as well. Open up another terminal. And now we're going to be good to go. So since we're installing make, and GCC, I want you to search for make right here, just like this. And you'll notice that there's make in main. This is the one we want. Make is a build automation tool, a part of genu.org, and you can see here what we need to do to install it. We need to do snoop bucket add main. Snoop bucket add main. And for me, it already says I have the main bucket, but for some of you, it will not. Then we could do scoop, install, and then it's in the bucket called main. So we do main slash make. And this will begin installing the make commands. Now we also need to install GCC, which contains the C and C++ compiler toolchain, which is what we need right here. So I'm actually going to go to gnu.org and click on this link and just see what we're going to be installing. We're going to be installing the compiler collection for C, C++, Objective-C, Fortran, Go, etc. So, now that this looks like what we're probably going to want to install, let's go ahead and do um, scoop install main slash GCC. Perfect. Now that this is going ahead and installing, I'm going to go ahead and close the browser, or like so. Okay, so now that we have GCC and make installed, let's go ahead and create a new file. So we're going to do touch, uh, let's see. So here, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new file. I'm going to do vi make file. If you don't have vi already installed, you could just go ahead and do touch make file and then open this up in your favorite text editor. Me, I'm going to do vi make file and we're going to enter insert mode and just do something really simple. We're going to do main and then we're going to do G plus plus dash O and we're just going to call it app test and we're going to do main dot CPP like so. I'm going to do right quit and there we go. Now I've created a make file. Now let's go ahead and do VI main dot CPP and let's go ahead and create a file that we can compile. So I'm going to do include IO stream. We're going to do int main. We're going to do std see out hello YouTube. And there we go. I'm also just going to return zero and close our bracket. And there we go. So now we have a really basic um, main.cpp and a very basic make file, which you can see right here and right here. Now let's go ahead and actually see if GCC and make have been installed. So let's do make like so. And we get G++, but then we get an error and it says something about a file not being specified or something. So what we're going to do is we're going to close our terminal because it says GCC was installed. So I'm going to close the terminal. And then once the changes have taken effect, I'm going to just show you that I'm still here. We can just do make. And now it'll install correctly, as you can see here. The reason is GCC and G++ need a full terminal restart before they can be available. So now you see if I ls, we have an app test.exe. And we can do dot slash app test.exe to run it. And we get hello YouTube. If this video was helpful to you, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.
拜。